Hi, family. Welcome back to the channel. I got to tell you, this is a good episode. I got a lot of information packed into this. We're going to take a look at Kathy Ward. We're going to take a look at ARC. We're going to see what they've been loading up on. And the Fed is meeting this week. She said a big statement, and I absolutely agree with her. Uh, the only thing is, it was a little advanced compared to where I thought we'd see some actions from the Fed. So we're going to get into that as well. So you're going to see what ARC's buying. You're going to see what she said. And more importantly, hopefully we can use this to make some serious cash. Now, before we do, if you have not done this, take advantage of this, family. This is free cash. They are giving you, all you got to do is click the Moo Moo link right below the video. Put $100 in, you get a shot, and you'll get five guaranteed free stocks worth up to $10,000. So take advantage of this. And then next, if you have not done it for Weeble, the Weeble link is right below. $1. You get up to 12 free stocks, could be worth up to 30,000. And they got crypto over there. I absolutely recommend both of these. Take advantage of both. You can have more than one platform and you can use their different services. Now we move into what we were talking about a little bit ago. You're going to see this. I'm going to pull this up and you can see right here that Kathy Wood came out and said something. I would not be surprised to see a significant policy pivot in the next three to six months. And this is from the Fed, all right? So this is what she's talking about. I shouldn't say from the Fed. This is, she's talking about the Fed. And so in my opinion, and we discussed this, we looked into it. I've said that you're going to see deflation. And once we get to that point, the Fed's going to panic because then they realize they have over tightened. And I think that inflation or deflation is going to happen quickly. And now that we're reading what Kathy Wood said, Ah, boy, oh boy, it looks like she's starting to agree with us that we are going to see some serious deflation pressures. And I wanted to get into it. Let's hear what she says right here. Speech yesterday and tell us and you can hear this. Look like in the coming three to six months. Yes. Um, well, he repeated what he said in Jackson Hole, essentially. Uh, they're focused only on prices. Now, they have a dual mandate, employment and prices. Frankly, I'm happier that they're focused on more of a price rule. So that's good. Uh, but I think the reason for the pivot uh, is going to be a, a massive amount of deflation uh, in the system. It's already here. Uh, if you So there you go. A massive amount of deflation. She goes into it a little bit more in detail, which we can listen to. As she said, it's already here. You don't need double mo's. Let's listen to this thing up. Commodity prices, the gold price, for example, it actually peaked in August of 2020. And it's at the lower end of a two-year range, while copper has broken down, oil is breaking down, lumber has crashed, uh, iron ore as well. Uh, uh, freight rates out there are suggesting that the supply chains are loosening up quite significantly. The rates are coming down. So we've got deflation in the system. And, and I will say this, to add to what she's looking at, I've been looking at the shipping containers coming over from China. I believe the current price is now down to $7,000 a container, which is way under what it was a while ago. Supply chains are absolutely loosening up. Lumber's dropping. Gold, if we had such big time inflation, why isn't gold at all time highs? Isn't gold supposed to be the ultimate in inflation hedging? Isn't Bitcoin supposed to be the same thing? But they are way down. And so I would argue, and as she said, copper prices are down. You're seeing oil breakdown, which is a concern because I have a lot of oil positions. I may be deleveraging sooner than later because I had, I'm going to keep the original stocks, but I have some leverage play. We're going to do some moves here, but there's a lot of discussions out there. Now, we talk about this and you heard a little bit about what Kathy Wood had to say, but what's she buying? What's going on? Well, here you go. Take a look at this. Kathy Wood goes on biggest dip buying binge since February. And this is this. We're talking last week. When I say this week, last week, uh, ARC Fund buys shares in 27 stocks on Tuesday amid sell off. So if they're out there buying like that, what do you think she's thinking? Well, I'm thinking the same thing. That yeah, the spring's getting pushed down. Everybody's starting to panic again. Every you know, you're seeing the markets come down, which we're going to show you here in a minute. But are we going to have a short-term rally? And I've said it multiple times on here. You got to pay attention to all the little details. The big catalyst for the next push up is the Fed. The Fed's going to have its meeting this week. You're going to go ahead and see that meeting. And after they come out, 
All of a sudden, they're going to announce their 75 basis points. You can come back and check this video out. If they do 100 basis points, the market's going to be down more. But if they do the 75, that's off. I think everybody knows at that point, it's going to be the last oversized rate hike from the Fed. They go 25 basis points here on out, and they got to where they wanted to go quickly. And then we'll watch the uh, as they roll off assets off that balance sheet as well, how aggressive they get with that. I believe, just like Kathy Wood, that we are going to see deflation. Now, the question is, she said three to six months, the, the Fed could do a policy shift. If that happens in three months, that means the market's absolutely crashed. Uh, we had massive deflation down, and it would be ugly to see it in three months. I actually think we'll see it between the three and six month period. I think you'll see it closer probably into, uh, I'm thinking beginning to middle of Q3, you're going to see a lot of bad signs coming out. And, or as to say, Q1 of 2023, we're going to see a lot of bad signs coming out. And that's what I'm watching for, family. I'm watching for that. I'll be already switched over to make sure I'm riding that wave down. But as soon as they announce a policy shift, expect, just expect the 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 markets to take that as a good sign. You'll start to see a little bit of money going back into some of these riskier plays. Now, doesn't mean the markets, just because they announce it, are all of a sudden they're going to start going north. That's not how it always works. If we're in a serious recession, we could see that thing stretch out for a while because it's going to take some time uh, from the Fed action. So that's something I'm watching. But what did ARC buy? And well, how is ARC? You know, she she talks the big game. She has a lot of good stocks in there. I like some of her stocks as well. Uh, and here you go. She can see she's down 55% for the year. All right. And then I wanted to move into, but, and I always say this about this, and I'll blow this up because I can see it's hard to read on there. And you could see this right here. And you can see one year, not just a year to date, but one year down 69.18%. And of course, over three years now, remember, this is including that 2020 year where she was, I believe it was one of the top funds in the country, now down 5%. But when in doubt, zoom out. She's still up 8% over five years uh, since inception, 10.82%. So if you got in this fund with her right away, you are doing okay. And so that's a question what everybody is going to do. Now, what is she buying? What did ARC buy that week that everybody was writing articles and talking about it? Here you go. I got it for you, family. You can see some of these stocks, Roku, Zoom. Uh, and you can see one of the ones I like a lot, DraftKings. She keeps loading up on that. Why? Well, because if DraftKings ends up running and owning that online wagering for sports and everything else around the United States, I think they're going to absolutely dominate. And I like them. I like the combinations they're doing out there. Uh, with the different leagues, and I believe you're going to see continuation of that uh, moving forward, working with the NFL, NVIDIA. Look at this. She added on NVIDIA, all right? So that's looking good. And you can see they added more of both of them in Arc W. We get down to Arc G. You can see those. And, of course, as we get down here, you can see what is going on. But the uh, the flagstone, Arc K, you can see DraftKings in there, Roku, Zoom. So I'm not sleeping on these. I'm definitely watching what she's saying because I always like to take a look at what everyone's opinion is. It doesn't mean they're going to be right. They don't got a crystal ball. If she knew exactly what the market was going to do, it wouldn't be down 50-something percent year to date and 60-something percent over the last 12 months. So what we do, though, is kind of look at what they see for the Fed and everything else and see how it matches up to what our research is. My research says a lot of the same things of that we're going to see some, some issues probably in December through Q1. And I think you're going to see the Fed eventually have to switch before the end of Q2. And so I'm looking at that seven-month range as a Fed making a, a decision to do something. Now, like I said, there's no guarantees, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes as we move forward. Now, uh, take a look at the NASDAQ because I do want to show how she's doing compared to the NASDAQ. She's down 50 something percent. You can see the NASDAQ down 27.69. When the markets are green, she outperforms it by multiples. When they're red, she absolutely gets crushed by multiples. That's the, the risk of a high risk portfolio. So at this point, when you see that, you think, okay, are the companies she has in there solid for long term growth during a normal time when everything's going right? Uh, I would say yes. But when you see them down like this, the market NASDAQ down this much, you got to understand there's going to be volatility and dropping. I love DraftKings as well. You can take a look at this one. 33% down year to date, starting that recovery now though. 
Well, I remember we got down to 10. Everybody was saying, hey, it's done. It's toast. It's up 81 percent. And I think it's going to go higher. And of course, I believe Kathy believes that, too, because they keep adding it. Can't speak on her behalf, but we can go by the actions. And so I'm watching that one. And of course, NVIDIA, this is another one down 50 something uh, percent this year alone. But if we go out to a year, uh, not year to date, it's down 60 percent. And so this is trading at 52 week lows. I like this stock as well. I think it's going to be a game changer uh, with their chip technology, the AI technology. We talked about that in the video before with the best stocks to buy now. I think it was the best growth stocks to buy now. I added some in there that I'm looking to. I always say make a foundation for the portfolios and we're getting we got a lot of things to talk about. I know I asked about having people do a short portfolio. What do you think about making a short portfolio? A lot of you said, yes, I'm not afraid to do that. And we are absolutely looking into that. So if you haven't done it, come on over to the Patreon. Join us over there. We got some good things going on. Uh, I've talked. We got a private discord, with thousands of members. It's a good way to support the channel. You get to see all the portfolios. I got over a million dollars invested. We got crypto, all of it. Come on over and join us. That is down there below. Take your investing to the next level. So at this point, that's the update. I wanted to share a little bit with what I was finding. And if you haven't done it, take advantage of the Moon Moon link down below. Put $100 in. Five stocks could be worth up to $10,000. Have everybody in the house do it. And then, of course, hit the Weeble link. Put a dollar in. You will get up to 12 free stocks worth up to $30,000. Between them, $101, you're going to get a ton of free stocks. So take advantage of those. Hit the free money. Come on over to the Patreon. And then you can be a part of a great positive community. Lots of people over there. You can talk to them about different strategies. It's a good place to go. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.